Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of Mystery Us. I'm Tony Pratt, your host for Mystery Us, and today we have a very special singer as our guest on Mystery Us, Tara Stahl, and she's going to be singing Earthquake. Shook me like an earthquake. Like an earthquake. You made the whole world shake. Believe me, brother, your prime time love, your fool for a bad heartache. Hit me like a freight train. train. You made my whole life change. Please don't ever stop for goodness sake. Boy, you shook me like an earthquake. Fabulous. Great job. Now, Tara, you started uh, training in dance and piano at the age of five, right? And you, uh, went, to, uh, you went to the uh, school for the performing arts at the University of Cincinnati Conservatory. Mm -hmm. What was that experience like? Oh, it was fantastic. Um, my high school, you can actually go from grades four through 12. I went seven through 12. Mm -hmm. um, you have to audition to get in. It's kind of like fame. Yeah. Um, you audition and you get accepted and it was fantastic. You'd go to your um, regular school studies and you'd also do acting and singing and dancing in the daytime. It was, it was an amazing experience. Cool. Now the next song we're going to do is my favorite song that you do. It's called You Love Me So Good. That's right. And uh, do you know who wrote that song? I'm not, I'm not sure. sure either. Anyway, my dad produced it, yeah. so Vern Pratt. Tara Stahl, you love me so good. Heart and soul dream, sweet summer nights. Your arms around.
of all the ones that you've done of my dad's stuff. Um, now you have had a wealth of performance experience. You performed on showboats, cruise ships, dinner theater, theme parks. I mean, pretty much Broadway type, Las Vegas type review shows and all this kind of stuff. And then somehow you ended up in Nashville performing in an all-girl group called Karma at Trafalgar Square, which was a real upscale nightclub here in Nashville. And uh, a friend of ours was a, uh, a mutual friend was a, a, a what was he? What Dave. Was, he? was it Dave? Dave, yeah. <laughs> he was the, uh, uh, the, what was he? The production oh, stage, manager, yeah, stage the manager, stage manager, stage manager, whatever. And so uh, you ended up meeting my dad, and that's mm -hmm. how you, you yeah, came up with all this met. music. Uh -huh. But how did you end up coming to Nashville? Well, I came to Nashville. I was actually um, in Tunica, Mississippi. I was in a right. show. Um, I was discovered there um, by Willie Mitchell. He said, uh, I think you should move to Nashville. Uh, he had a recording studio out there, and so I came to Nashville, and everybody said it would be really difficult to get a singing job mm -hmm. in Nashville, and I was right. here two days, and uh, <laughs> I auditioned for this show, and I got in, and, and that's how it all happened, and ended up in Nashville with a singing job. Cool. Okay, well, the next song on the list, I believe, is called A Bed Made for Lying, and it was written by a friend of ours, Wally Lewis, who's now deceased, mm -hmm. Charles W. Lewis. Uh, he's also one of the writers on my Memphis on a Roll song that's uh -huh. on YouTube right now. <laughs> Sorry, I had that's to right. put my own yeah. shameless plug in there. All right, Tara. As I made up the bed this morning, I made up the lies I tell to him tonight. The excuses I will use, I meant politely to refuse. Should he want something more than just to hold me tight? The bright red roses on the spread, satin pillows beneath our heads won't be much when bedtime comes, cause I'll be lying in his arms in more ways than one. It's a bed made for
Cause it all could come undone One slip of the Great job. Great. That is awesome. Um, now, we keep talking about my dad producing this stuff. Mm -hmm. How was it like working with my dad? Because I wasn't around Love. when y'all were doing all this stuff. What was... Uh, it was absolutely amazing. And we went through several songs. Um, we chose the best, you know, right. 13, I think, uh, that he had there. Um, he was in there every day. We were recording vocals. It was my first time mm -hmm. um, with session players and everything. Right. So absolutely amazing. And you were playing over at uh, Merritt Studio? Yeah, that's right, with Tom yeah, Pick. Yeah, Tom Pick, mm -hmm. yep. Yep, sounds good. Okay, well, let's go on to the next song, which is Finders, Finders Keepers. Keepers. Toothbrush on the shelf. There were silk things in the closet. I never put them there myself. You must have left here in a hurry. Girl, you must have been out of your. Don't bother coming back when you realize what you left behind. Finders keepers, losers keepers. When you Finders, 
when you walked out on him that's when i came in to mend his broken heart finders keepers losers weepers you threw his love away song. Uh, now you, you list uh, Dolly Parton and Barbara Mandrell, obviously definitely performer types of stars as your major influences and also you like Jody Messina and uh, Tricia Yearwood who are great singers, performers too. Uh, what is it that, I mean do you emulate their styles, or do you draw from them, I mean or is ju you're just inspired for them to do your own thing? I think I'm inspired by them. I love all of those performers. I think you have to have, uh, if you close your eyes, you can imagine who's singing, you know, whether it's Jody Messina or Dolly Parton. Um, you can know who the singer is. Fantastic performers. They can play instruments. Just all right. around great entertainers. And that's what I really look for. And um, that's what I hope to be. So. Well, it's been a few years since I've heard you sing any of these songs. And you've really, your voice has matured and you've matured as an artist. It's really amazing I'm glad to see it uh, we got one more song and it's fitting since it's the last song right. that it's titled goodbye adios okay. <laughs> <All right. laughs>
fabulous. We really need an audience for all this so, so we can have a more of a reaction. Yeah, but uh, uh, it really sounds good. Now, you've done a lot of different things. You've done some different music videos, Chris Cagle and stuff, and you did a you did a jingle for Fox. What was the jingle for Fox about? What was that? that was amazing. It was just uh, to promote Tennessee and get people to come to Tennessee and how great it is here and um, come see what we have to offer. And it was really great. I got to record it and it played on the radio and um, on TV. Absolutely. Now this wasn't Fox News, was it? I mean, it was <laughs> <laughs> Fox News Network. Oh, no, it's the same Fox. Fox, yeah. But the local, yeah. the local version. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, now, uh, what what is your goal in music? What are you trying to well get a record deal? <laughs> yeah, get a record Give deal. Give this girl a record deal, yeah, somebody, get a, please. Get a record deal, and just also, it's just great just to perform for people and you know make someone's day. You know, right. someone's having a bad day, or you know maybe a song will touch them and make Absolutely. their day better. And yep. so that's what I hope to do when I sing that you know touch someone touch someone's life mm -hmm. today. Now I always ask some little bit of off the wall questions and I don't know, you may not, I, mean, I know you've had some weird experiences being in, <laughs> do, do, doing all this performing. Uh, uh, any of them of a paranormal nature or just of a weird, strange, what, what in the heck's going on nature? I do have a weird story, um, okay. sad but weird I guess, but <laughs> um, a friend of ours, uh, we, would, we would play cards mm -hmm. and a friend of ours, um, his his friend had passed away. Yeah. And every time we would bring up his name, no joke, this soda can, it wasn't like cond condensation, just move the can. We would mention his name and it would go, Ooh, and then we would play some more cards and mention his name again and the can would go, Ooh, <laughs> and we'd all went, like this and now did the can actually make that sound or <laughs> is that just a well, it didn't make the sound effect. but that's, that's what it felt like it was just right. a, it was like woo, you know yeah. so that's the uh, my experience. that's pretty paranormal mm -hmm. i mean how far did the can move it was pretty far i mean it you know not just like a little bit when you see a can move it was it was pretty good distance i mean right yeah not everyone asks you these kind of questions on no definitely yeah. not <laughs> Okay, well, Tara, uh, congratulations on the, on the music and everything, and I hope something, you know, comes out of all this and see, I mean, what's, what's next for Tara Saw? What's, what's your next? final mm -hmm. thought or thing you want to say to the world out there? Well, thank you for having me. And You're welcome. Um, just, you know, love Tara and hope I get to sing more for everyone out there and have a great day. All right. That's all for Mystery Us, folks. Thank you. Good night.